This is my um, dry Faraday maglev. It's actually floating on a magnet. Attempt. Um, recording the build process, and uh, if you have any suggestions on how you know this could evolve or things maybe to try uh, you know if that's something fun to do together let, let, let me know I'll um, try different setups this one's coming with a lot of it's not the big challenges like oh hook it up and get it to turn and whatnot it's it's more the little challenges like locking things in place like these magnets, for example, I had to JB weld them so they'd stop trying to sneak out of place. Or, you know, attaching this away that doesn't melt. You know, this is pretty resilient to temperature. Um, even this, like I'm trying, it's kind of funny, I'm trying to set this on here and it's actually being pushed away, believe it or not. Like... You can see this end is heavier than this end, and yet <laughs> it's like floating because of the magnetic forces. So there's a lot, a lot of surprises in something like this. Um, this one mainly, it's melting before it gets to the point where it wants to turn, and I'll show you that. So that's what I'm working on now is uh, don't really have to worry about the stabilizing part. Like this is just a proof of concept. I will build a sturdier one. But what I'm working on is getting this to turn, moving the actual weight of it before it gets to the point where it's melting or welding together actually. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, that's not connecting um i'll make a straight connection this 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 is what i'm talking about this could be fun if it's something you're into let me know and then i'll just show the finished product if that's all, all you want but you know i didn't see too many videos dealing with the um the problem solving of it so not really problem solving but you know the how to steps and and how to over overcome the you know working getting it getting it to work versus not working okay hooking up this is what happens when you hook straight to this these are copper that's uh conductive non-magnetic metal so when you hook up like this, there's magnets, right? And it's not enough. See, see, it's not moving yet. It's not enough force magnetically to get it to spin. It's just welding instead. So, uh, I think I need more magnetic force like the disc may have to be bigger but i thought is there a way to get this small setup to spin instead oh, let's see it welded is there a way to get this small disc to spin like is there a way to get enough force into this thing without making it bigger i thought that might be an interesting riddle so if you have any ways to keep it from melting but get enough magnetic spin in there let me know sorry for repeating myself i'm just trying to uh, communicate effectively if it's you know complicated if it's not easy to understand just trying to communicate it well um, so one option to get it to keep from melting is to add this. I didn't want to add a large resistor because that would just waste energy. So I have this set up. 
it's a variable resistor this actually stores electricity so it's not wasted and it causes it to um to resonate at a high frequency aka more magnetic power so let me see if that works i don't know it might it might not i'll try that on the next video adding the resistor so it doesn't melt